Hello everyone, this is Grant with Spark Sites and um, Daryl Turner posted yesterday or this morning uh, about how a lot of us are using, what calendar apps we're using and basically how do we organize our life. And in Daryl's case, uh, he's taking care of his, uh, he's spending time with his nephews, he's doing something with medical, he's running his uh, landscaping business and managing his crew. So I imagine that life can get crazy and I imagine that's crazy for a lot of you. Um, and so real quick, uh, a, a lot of people piped in and started asking like, how are you managing this? So real quick, I'm gonna share my screen and show you how I start to manage um, a business with, uh, manage myself within a business of five to seven people at any given time. We've got another bookkeeping company. Uh, I've got my speaking and training, we've got our traveling, and then there's just the leadership itself. So how do we start to do this and then take care of ourselves so that we're living a holistic life um, and give ourselves a sense of control? Um, and from a sense of control, we have a sense of freedom. So real quick, I'm just going to share my screen and share the two major apps I use. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. So you're looking at my screen right now, and we're looking forward in November. We're looking at Google Calendar, and you can see I've got a variety of Google Calendars here. So the first thing I recommend is, is definitely get set up with G Suite, um, uh, the paid version, or just simply use the free version of Google Calendar. And what this looks like is um, over to the left, I have all, look at all of these calendars. So these calendars cover a variety of the projects I'm doing and color code them and a variety of the services I'm offering, and a variety of the places uh, that I interface with. Like you can see Catapult has its offices, which is a co-working space here in Lakeland, Florida. Um, we've got a ton of stuff going on here, but you don't need anything that crazy. I would have a basic calendar for your personal life, which is what this green one is, uh, a calendar for if you wanna remember birthdays, uh, a calendar for, uh, this was a product launch we were working on, uh, we, we for Spark Sites has its own calendar and for State of the Spark, which includes training and leadership and development. Uh, and then obviously for our travel and adventure, which is a top priority for me and Marissa. Fitness and health things go into my personal uh, section there. So if, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this. The function here is that you can toggle some of these off and on and look at a particular topic and see how much time it's taking up. Or you can look at the view where you see all of the calendars in one view and kind of get a view of how busy your week is. Now, I'm gonna explain what some of these blocks are and how all of this works, um, but let's go to an example week. So the first principle, and this is next week, it's already blocked out entirely, and again, I will explain that in further detail. But this is a week where there's just minimal things going on here, and let me explain. I believe that just like a money budget, everyone especially who has a busy life should have a time budget. And I believe in time budgeting, and that will be for another video. But time is even more limited than money. I can build my business up and get more money. I can't build my business up and necessarily create more hours in a day. So, um, so this is what I do. I first articulate to myself, just like I will with a budget. With a budget, we ask, what's the most important items this money should be going to? Usually it's labor and then growing the business or marketing. Um, for time, it's fitness and health. It's healthy, happy relationships, so time with your loved ones or friends. Uh, and those should actually be prioritized. So working out at the gym, going to the pool, going for walks at night, and time with family, or in our case, time with some our people at the business. So on a typical week, I have multiple meetings. Um, and so I'm just gonna do this right here live for you guys. I always, first and foremost, schedule the most important things before I add my business schedule. So, for example, every Tuesday I have a mastermind meeting uh, with James Joseph, a good friend of mine. We meet at 6 a.m. at Starbucks, and so I'm just going to save that there. So, that's blocking that time so I don't double it. Now, along with that, uh, I block off and protect my Mondays to be admin times. I protect my Fridays to be uh, review times or setting up the following week or any cleanup uh, clicking work or appointment work I need, I set that there. And then in the evenings or in the afternoons, what I wanna start doing is making sure that I remember to do a daily review next 
day prep. And I'm putting this on the calendar, and this is going to be for State of the Spark because it kind of applies to everything I'm doing. I'm going to go to more options, and then it does repeat, and it's going to repeat uh, the weekdays, and then it's going to actually so repeat every day, repeat every week, Monday, Tuesday, oops, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And it's going to end on, let's look at the date here. I'm just going to set this up. Uh, what's the date? November 5th. We're going to set this up to end November 17th. And this will actually schedule this on the calendar uh, for the next two weeks. And then I'm just going to leave myself some notes here. Review the day. Did I accomplish my top task? Set the top task for tomorrow. So I'm just going to do that and I'm going to say, now you're going to watch this populate. Boom. See how it populated there? And then I even scheduled out to the 17th. So this is what I recommend to all of you. Start filling up your schedule with your top most important things, family and health. So that's the other thing I want to make sure I'm doing. So I get up pretty early. So I'm going to schedule 4.30 to 5 every day for that same time to stretch, run, or work out. Now this starts to set the tone for my life that I need to be going to bed at a certain time the night before. So let's, uh, let's do every weekday. Actually, let's do custom. Every weekday, great. And it ends on, you said November 17th. Boom, done. Okay, so I'm gonna say that, perfect. And then that also means that I need to be kind of turning into bed or what I do is try to study at night or unwind. So let's just say study, unwind, review goals. Great, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to customize it, I'm gonna customize it uh, every day and, and that's going to include the weekends. And then I'm going to at least book out the next two weeks. Let's save that. Um, perfect. Okay. So you can see my day starting to fill up. I also have daily huddles with the team, which are super important. And then these are my executive meetings. I have another midday mastermind with a friend of mine, Dave Pappas. I have another mastermind with a friend of mine, Derek um, Smith. And so the relationship stuff is prioritized. Oh, and something I definitely don't want to forget is every day of the week, uh, breakfast, coffee with Marissa, the love of my life. And so we do this every stinking day. We make sure that we have coffee together, usually between seven and eight, every single day. And it really sets a tone. We talk about everything. We talk about nothing. I read her the news or we talk about business. And so I am just going to save that. So that's blocked off. Boom. So come heck or high water, the important stuff is in place. Now, I've set this up and the rest of this space I leave open for appointments. So if today is the 24th, I would, and the next week is just already booked out, then these are the next openings I should have time for. Now, what we get done, at, uh, what we tend to do as entrepreneurs and business owners and getting our business up and running is we just start putting people in. If someone calls and says, hey, can I meet today? Hey, could I meet tomorrow? And we start saying yes, yes, yes. And I am guilty that beyond all, beyond everyone else, I am supremely guilty of doing that. So what I try to do is I try to make sure I am planning out my weeks, two weeks ahead. And so then what happens is if someone goes, hey, can I meet? Oftentimes we're guilty of going, no, nah, get out of here. But this is the next tool. So if tool number one is Google Calendar, then tool number two is a powerful tool that I've been using called Book Like a Boss. And this is what Book Like a Boss looks like on the front end. It's got us, I'm branded, the state of the spark is branded on here. And someone could now book a Q&A for Spark Sites for 30 minutes. They could book about a 30 minute session for general biz development. This is like the micro coaching. Since we're not doing full blown coaching right now, we're building up the website business. 
I allow like about a half an hour with all my clients to do some biz dev, but I don't go a full hour because in all honesty, it's a free service and I'm not getting paid a lot um, to do that. So I want to make sure that I'm staying focused on the core business of what we do. Now notice there's no other openings. Today's the last openings for these. Why is that? Well, I'll tell you. See how all these openings were available for a coffee connection with Grant, but this day's ending, it's ending pretty quickly. The, uh, that's a 45 minute. Sites Q&A, the only spot is 4.30. Biz Dev Q&A, the only spot's 4.30. Coffee connection with Grant. And then there's not another opening until, boom, November 6th. Remember what I showed you on my calendar, November 6th, these openings? Everything else is fairly booked out. This is because it is pulling from my Google Calendar. So if you use Google Calendar, a lot of services can connect with it. Uh, and, so, and then I also have content strategy. Someone could use this calendar to book me for content strategy and there's rules attached like that. And then as my formal coaching and training starts to kick in, um, they can actually book that here. We can take payment right here for that and we're set up. So what does book like a boss look like on the back end? There's a great dashboard and you start by selecting what your booking schedule is available. I schedule between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. I might start going a little bit later since more and more of our clients are bivocational. And then I have no Saturday hours and I have no Sunday hours. The main reason for that, Sunday is me and Marissa's relationship time. We want to unwind. We want to get to the beach. We, and we sometimes work. Um, but that's by choice, not by shackles. We're not chained to that. So we don't allow, I don't allow any availability on Saturday and Sunday. I might manually book someone for a meeting on Saturday, but I never, never, never book anything on Sunday. So that's the booking schedule. Then you go to your calendar, and this is the thing that it connects to your Google Calendar. So I've connected to the Google Calendar, and it's loading my Google Calendar right here. It's sucking everything in from all of my appointments, and it's trying to figure out what are your availabilities. And so you can go through and tell it, hey, allow Book Like a Boss to save bookings to this calendar. No, I'm just going to allow Book Like a Boss to use this calendar to check my availability. So this is the Grant R. Nadu calendar, which is, if you recall our calendars, the Grant R. Nadu calendar here. Uh, and it's checking that calendar for uh, availability. I could also allow it, if I wanted, to book things to that calendar. I don't do that. I only let it book things to my Spark Sites calendar for now. But it's got all of these listings or all the calendars that I have labeled in Google Calendar. Then you can also set a padding. So let's take a look here. Product launch, Spark Sites. Here we go, Spark Sites. Allow book like a boss to save bookings to the Spark Sites calendar. I create a padding of 15 minutes. The reason for this is if I'm taking a phone call with one of you guys or a potential client, I wanna make sure I have 15 minutes before to either transition from a separate appointment or to sit and, and research and warm up for that phone call, whether it's looking over the client's information, whether it's looking over their current web presence, whatever that is, I set a padding of 15 minutes, depending on the nature of the meeting. I also like for my coaching sessions to have a half an hour to prep before that meeting. So you can set those, um, you set all those settings and then click update and your calendar is set and then you can jump over to your appointments or your products and services. Appointments are the free things. So I have the site's Q&A. I set the description, the success me message, and the rules. I don't let people book the same day. I have a padding for this particular session set to 30 minutes. Um, there's booking availabilities every 15 minutes provided that there's a 13 minute cushion. So if I have four o'clock available and 4.15 available, great. If someone books the four o'clock, It'll be blocked from 4 to 4.30 because that's the length of the meeting, but then it will also have another padding for 30 minutes so I can transition. So it will take away all the availabilities except 5 o'clock is the next one. And then it only goes out 45 days. Basically, our business could be completely revolutionized in 60 days. I would hate for someone to book out much more than 45 days. I'll probably even shift this to 30 days because our business is growing so quickly. So there's also links that you can send to someone specifically. If someone says, hey, can I get an appointment? You get this all the time. If you go to a networking meeting, people are like, hey, can I get 15 minutes for coffee? 
And we just want to say, yes. And I get that feeling, but what I need to start doing is having a link where I send them this link and go, no problem, check it out. Here is my availability. Let me know what works for you. And that way I don't get off track because it would be a disservice to my other team members like my wife, Marissa, or Adam and Brittany, or my uh, or uh, Brandon and Christine or Jenna. It would be a disservice to them if I were off doing too much other stuff and not the core stuff I need to be doing to grow in the business. So this is the second tool I use. It's a powerful tool. It's book like a boss. I think there is a paid level for this uh, product, but I bought it as a, in a bundle. And so it was added to a bundle. And then there's obviously the con, uh, the products and services, and these are the paid services uh, where there's a price attached to it and it connects right to your Stripe. You can also embed this thing. I could embed this on my personal website if I want. So instead of sending them all these links, um, I send them to my website. But for now, I just give people this link, bookme.name forward slash sparking, and they get this powerful tool. So I hope that wasn't too much. I wanted to cover a lot in a little bit of time, but Daryl, that's the answer to your question, sir. And to all of you guys, that's how I start to create sanding, make sure I stick to my commitments to, you know, minding my own business first, instead of just making myself just haphazardly available to everybody. And I think that that does a good service to my business. We grew 40% last quarter because of it. We're trying to level off growth this quarter because that's actually too much growth too quickly. Uh, but these are the two uh, tools I use, Google Calendar and Book Like a Boss. Tie them together and then get in the discipline that no matter what, when someone says, hey, are you available? You said, yes, I am. Here's my availability. What works for you? If you guys have any questions, post below. Please let me know if you have any thoughts or questions about anything regarding the web anything regarding your websites or just freaking anything at all. You guys are our clients and we want to make sure we're investing in you. And by the way, thank you so much for your referrals. They make a huge difference in our business. Wendy Mercer, you actually got us two awesome referrals. Uh, Jared and Katie Yates, a big shout out to you guys who have done a lot of referrals as well. So thank you so much, guys. We appreciate you. Have a great day. And hopefully this helps you get a little bit organized as you're trying to take your business to the next level. Thanks so much. Have a great day.